Hello and welcome to a new video on the Crypto2 YouTube channel. This video is the start of a new series on our channel. I call this series the Let's Break It series. In the videos of the series, I want to analyze and break original, historical and new cipher texts. In the first video, I want to break an encrypted letter from a child killer. The story behind this letter is a really sad story, since the letter was written by a child killer. But it was the first time that I actually broke a ciphertext and I obtained the ciphertext from a really nice blog of Klaus Schmee. Klaus Schmee is a good friend of Crypto2 and this channel and he is a very well-known crypto author. He wrote several books about cryptology and he is probably the most famous German crypto author. And in his blog he presents interesting cryptological topics. And from time to time I want to take some of his articles where he presents ciphertext and I want to try to analyze and break these in Crypto2. Here you can see the article from 2014 which introduced me to the Kali Brucia case. And in this article Klaus described the background of the case and the ciphertext and he asked his blog readers to actually break the ciphertext. Clearly the ciphertext had been already broken, you will see this in the introduction to the case. But nevertheless, this was the first time that I used Crypto2 to break an actual, real ciphertext. I structured this video into different parts. In the first part, I want to introduce you to the Kali Brucia case. Then in the second part, I want to show how to transcribe the encrypted letter, which you can see here on the right side. And in the third part, I want to show you the crypt analysis of the letter using Crypto2. Here's the introduction to the Kali Brucia case. In February 2004, Kali Brucia, an 11 years old girl from Sarasota, Florida, United States, disappeared. And sadly, some time after her disappearance, her dead body was found. And she was later then seen on a surveillance camera video of a car wash when she walked away with an unknown man. Here you can see on the right side a screenshot of a YouTube video showing Kali Brucia and her killer Joseph Peter Smith. The investigators took help from NASA researchers to improve the image quality of that video with new image processing techniques. And the man you can see here on the video was quickly identified as Joseph Peter Smith. And while he was in custody, Smith tried to send an encrypted letter to his brother. And this is the letter we want to analyze. And the letter was decrypted by the Crypt Analysis and Racketeering Records Unit or CRRU of the FBI. And Smith was then, after that, sent to death on the murder charge and still waits for his execution today. Now let's have a look at the letter and let's try to transcribe it. Here on the left side is a screenshot of the letter, which I took from Klaus Schmee's blog. And you can see here the date of the letter and you can see different symbols. And we have different ciphertext symbols, digits 1 to 5, and we have prefixes plus, minus, x, and a percentage sign. And what I did first when I wanted to analyze the letter, I created this transcription here. To do the transcription, I went one ciphertext symbol by another through the letter and wrote it down using a notepad. And you can see that the letter consists of pairs, like the plus five, or you have only single digits, like the five here, and that's all. So you can have a digit or a digit with a prefix. After finishing this transcription here, I realized that this might be a monoalphabetic substitution since you don't have many combinations of digits and prefixes. So in the next step, I change from single double symbols to single letters. So instead of writing here the plus five, I wrote a V. And instead of writing a five here, I wrote a U. And I went on until I changed every single or double symbol to a single letter. That made the analysis for me in Crypto2 easier. And now let's have a look in Crypto2 how we can crypt analyze the transcribed letter and how we can break it. I'm here now in Crypto2 and the first step I want to show you is how you can convert the original transcription to only single characters. For that I prepared a workspace I just double click here and this is my workspace. 
So you can see here my transcription, like plus five, five, and so on. This is the transcription of the original encrypted letter. And I wanted to change this to the original alphabet here. So what did I do? I created the ciphertext as a text input here. I used the substitution component to substitute all the symbols here with the Latin alphabet. Here we have our source alphabet, and in the source alphabet we have all the digits from 1 to 5. Then we have plus 1, minus 1, percentage 1, and x1, and also for the other digits I did the same. So in total we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5, 25 different ciphertext symbols. And that you better understand how this works, With the substitution component, you can substitute, for instance, a letter by another letter. But when I want to substitute several letters by other letters, then I have to use the brackets here. So when this is in the source alphabet and this is in the destination alphabet, both at the first position, that means that the letter A is substituted by a B. But when I add here a plus in the brackets, that means that A plus is substituted by B. And for instance, I want to substitute A minus here, and then I could write here an X. That means A plus is substituted by B, A minus is substituted by X. But I can also, in the destination alphabet, write here X star, for instance. That means that A minus is substituted by X star, and A plus is substituted by B. Now let's assume we want to create a homophonic substitution. Then I could also write in the destination alphabet brackets, and I could write here the pipe symbol and then the one. And that means that A plus is either substituted with B or with one. In the case of this substitution here, I substituted all original ciphertext symbols by the Latin alphabet. And then when I press play here, don't need the A here. You see, I get instead of the original transcription, I get only Latin letters. And then I can take these here, just copy these, and go to the start center and, for instance, make an analysis. For that, I use the Friedman test for classical ciphers component. Here we have the frequency test, here we have the Friedman test. I don't need these here, so I can delete this this and this and increase the size and then I copy our cipher text here and then I press play and what do we see now we see now the distribution of letters here in the cipher text using our frequency test and we forward from the frequency test the number of different letters the frequencies to the Friedman test component here and the Friedman test component then performs the Friedman test. And the Friedman test tells us, for instance, if we have a monoalphabetic or polyalphabetic substitution. And the Friedman test here tells us that this here is monoalphabetic or clear text. So in the next step, we can copy again our ciphertext. And then, of course, we go to the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer. Where do we have it? Here we have the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer. I again paste our ciphertext here with this and a little bigger. Then, of course, I assume this is English, so we have English here, and let's test it. And that was the first thing that I saw when I analyzed the ciphertext. There's a problem, we don't get any text. And there's a misconfiguration here. We don't have spaces in our ciphertext. So let's restart it. And this doesn't look like a real plain text. So I tried this several times. But I never got the original plain text. And in Klaus Schmidt's blog was the original plain text. But Klaus didn't know how to come from the ciphertext to the plain text. So I stopped this and I thought, okay, this here is not an original English text, but the Friedman test still tells me that, is a, that it is a monoalphabetic substitution. 
So I thought maybe it's reversed. So I delete this here. I take the string operations component and say reverse. And by the way, in the crypto challenge contest that is currently running on the channel, there was in the last challenge video, there was also a cipher text that was written reverse. So this is not an unusual idea to write from right to left to confuse the crypt analyst. So I connect the ciphertext input here with the string operation, then the string operation with the monoalphabetic substitution analyzer. I switch this to reverse and then I press play. And immediately I saw the original plain text that was also written on Klaus Schmee's site. So here we have, I wish had something juicy to say. Okay, the backpack and backpack and clothes went into four different dumpsters. That Monday I came to your house for advice. I went, it left it to Quain. The opening dragged the body to where it was found and so on. So we can copy this. And then we can take a different template we have, and that is split the text. Maybe we can make it a little more readable. So I paste here split the text. And then you see it automatically splits words that it knows. And then after that, I improved the text that it was easier to read by hand. So I used the notepad to make it more readable. I show you the final result in Klaus Schmee's blog. Since I also posted it in 2014, here's the crypt analysis I did in 2014. And here you see the final correct text. I wish I had something juicy to say. Okay, the backpack and clothes went into four different dumpsters. That Monday I came to your house for advice. I went in, I left it out in the open, I dragged the body to where it was found, destroy this after, deciphering it and shut up. So this was clear evidence that he was the killer of Kali Brusha. And yeah, it's a really sad story, but it's also a successful decryption from the FBI. And you see that with criminal cases, we have also cryptology. And sometimes script analysis helps us to solve such cases. And this is everything that I wanted to show you in this short video. I plan to make more videos like this, where I take original cipher texts from such stories and try to successfully analyze and break these in Crypto 2. I hope you liked this video. If yes, please give a thumbs up. If no, you know what to do. Give a thumbs down. And if you did not yet subscribe to our channel, I would be really happy if you do so, since it really helps us to grow the channel, to make Crypto 2 more popular. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.